you could go through your life and never say anything controversial mm. or take a controversial opinion on the hot button topics, stay away from the third rails, don't be the pointy part of the spear. And when you die in your bed years from now, think, ah, I never offended anyone. <laughs> and what good will that do? You and what I will not be will lying there make? saying that. <laughs> No, no. So I'm much happier on the path that we're on. It's uh, the real me, and I've never felt more fulfilled or, I don't know if happy is the word, but just more, I've never had more meaning in my life. With the current state of media and politics, it's getting harder to find people who aren't afraid to speak their minds or push back against the narrative. Megyn Kelly has made it clear that she's not interested in staying silent or avoiding controversial topics just to keep things comfortable. In this video, she talks about why she's chosen to stand her ground, emphasizing that real fulfillment comes from being authentic and not bending to the pressure of the establishment. Kelly also takes aim at the glaring hypocrisy in Hollywood and the political elite, highlighting the contradictions between what they preach and how they act. I cannot imagine having a an editorial boss mm. who tells me how I have to cover the news. Mm. Like who who could that possibly be? There's just there's no one. And not a day goes by that I don't look around and think I am so happy to be doing this on my own and to not have to be responsible for what this moron says. It's just me. And I'll rise or fall on my own merit, right? They'll either love me or they hate me, hate me. It's fine. You know, I have enough viewers to sustain my mm -hmm. life and my business, and that's really all I could ever ask for. Uh, it's it's just a, it's a world of difference from the way I lived my first 17, 18 years in journalism, and I, I love it. And the disgusting hypocrisy. It's like, I, I did a bit last week on, after the Academy Awards, where, you know, they've lectured us for how many years now about how they've become super racially sensitive and they believe in the race essentialism message of the left. And meanwhile, who do they get to host the Academy Awards? Mr. Blackface himself, Jimmy Kimmel, who's worn it so many times I've lost count. <laughs> the full blackface with the bald head as Carl Malone speaking in Ebonics, in a fat suit as Oprah with the blackface mm -hmm. darning socks. Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Slopinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> See if you can guess which former president just posted that on Truth Sure, that's our champion. That's our guy, right? Jimmy Kimmel. Come on, we love it. And then you've got, you know, Robert De Niro out there saying what a disgusting character Donald Trump is and how he could never play him in a movie because there's absolutely nothing redeeming about him. Meanwhile, the guy played Al Capone, who's one of the most infamous mobsters ever reportedly <laughs> killed hundreds of people, not to mention the character he played in Goodfellas, who was based on an actual mobster who killed people and actually did stab that guy in the back of the car. That's fine. But Donald Trump, well, you know, there was the overturning of Roe thanks to his Supreme Court justices, so no. She warns of the dangers America faces with the legal battles surrounding Trump arguing that the fight has become bigger than just Trump. It's about preserving the core values of the country. If Trump wins, Kelly predicts a backlash from the left. And if he loses under questionable circumstances, the right won't accept the legitimacy of the result. Either way, she sees trouble ahead as the country inches closer to a breaking point. I see him as the juggernaut he is. And I see him like a forgive this, this is, I'm not trying to say he's a superhero, but almost as a superhero who has the special gift of the more you fire at him, the bigger he gets. Yeah. You know, the larger yeah, he gets and the, the more empowered. That's him. That's what's happening. And the left doesn't see it. And there is, you know, Trump has almost become, it, it, it's not even about him anymore. No. It really is about saving America. It's about the before and after moment on the legal indictments of a, of a former president of the leading candidate to be the GOP nominee. The, the norms that have been crossed by the Democrats, we have to stop them and we still can. We can restore normalcy in the country by saying, we didn't fall for that, we didn't allow that. So, you know, it's not just about Donald Trump anymore. It doesn't hold a candle to the left using our justice system at the federal and state level 
to stop a political opponent. That, I mean, that goes right to the fundamental core of who we are in America. And it, if we lose that, if somehow Trump is stopped because of the lawfare against him, we've genuinely lost a piece of our identity, of what makes us special, of one of the things that made us proud to be who we were. And it's, it's a before and after moment. It, it was right at the indictment, but a conviction and certainly one that led to him losing mm. will just will never be the same. There, there will be riots, Piers. There are going to be riots in America either way. Because if Donald Trump wins again, I shudder to think about what the left will do. And if he loses, the right and his core supporters are going to be so incensed at the way the justice system was used to stop a victory, I don't think they'll accept the presidency as legitimate, you know, if Biden wins under these circumstances. So already the Dems have shot themselves in the foot, even if they manage to eke out the W, which I agree does not look likely. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content.